job, our three Amana job, to start the last system, which is going to be an Amana 15 seer heat pump package unit. I got the word last week that the homeowner wants to finish this job by Friday, which is fantastic. But we got to cram in everything and get it done. Uh, the duct system itself will probably take three or four days uh, total because we got to rip out the old one, set the package unit at the end. So we'll be scrambling to finish everything because we have a couple After of odds and ends to do as well. Turn left, then turn right. All right. Here's our train over and under package unit. We're starting demolition on this system. We have a supply duct on top and a return duct on the bottom. So they wrapped one piece of insulation on both of them. So we're taking it apart now, ripping it out. Now we're under the gun a little bit more. We have a golf tournament coming up this weekend. And in this sort of development, you can't have your ACs sitting out beside the house where they have a problem. Or if there's anything unsightly, they, they come down on you hard. So we're going to try to pretty it up in time for the weekend so everyone is happy. There's our supply and return ductwork for the over and under. Supplies on top, returns on the bottom. They had blow up fittings on it. You see right there, supply on the left, return on the right. Got a little unit standing up right now. The base pan's in pretty good shape. Uh, there was some water in it, but uh, it's not rusted out. So there's our big amana. I'm about to go subterranean to remove this ductwork. I'll see y'all on the flip side. Well, we just demolitioned the duct system. I did it single-handedly. I'm very proud of this, although I wish I didn't have to. Uh, brother was occupied elsewhere. So let's take a look at all the stuff we tore out. There's the last piece of duct that came out of there. There's our over and under unit. There's some of our duct work. There's our giant pile of flex. There's some more duct work. Now I'll cut the flex into small sections and rip it apart so it fits in bags better. Because uh, remember, I go to the dump, not the uh, dumpster. So I got to kind of pack mine down tight. And I have to make sure it's nice and clean for the golf tournament. Alright, guys, I've loaded up most of the trash. I have my one condenser left and three or four bags of trash to take. I took about six bags and all the metal from the trunk, which is extensive. Not as bad as the four ton, but uh, pretty long, about 50 foot or so. Tomorrow I'll be back to start putting boots in the floor and making some trunk duct and then the following day I hopefully finish up the trunk and then after that set the new package unit and tie it up. Well I took a little detour this morning. I had to come over here and start up my Amana gas pack we put in a couple months ago because it's pretty chilly this morning and uh, kind of snuck up on me so I came over here to start it up. It's about 39 this morning. We are fired up and ready for warmth now. So it's back over to the big house to finish up the final package unit. Alright guys, our mana package unit is here. 15 seer. We are setting the pad and getting the ductwork ready. We finished up the duct system for the most part except for the return there. Uh, should work out where I put the unit right onto that squared around. Hopefully that's the way it works out. And we will see. Alright guys, we're moving right along here. Two sides of our hood are up. Basically it's just a square of metal. And in fact, it's square all the way. We sort of set it up so it can be straight down. We would have to indent for the pad. Slight arch so water runs down off of the hood. Uh, just got a top piece left to make. And right now I'm going to be adding a little free switch to the unit and I'll show you where I'm going to put that. Here's our EW switch. Looks a lot like a defrost thermostat, except it's built for larger pipe, three quarter or seven eighths inch copper. So, and most of our suction lines fall into those two categories. There's a, oops, there's sometimes they are half inch or uh, five eighths, but typically they're seven eighths or three quarters. So, I'm gonna snap it on and show you. All right, guys, we are inside of the evaporator coil area, and I've actually found a nice spot for the free stat. Out in the suction line there, there's our equalizing port. Our TXV, looks like it is adjustable. Um, Emerson made. TXV bulb, our dryer. But I've already fished our wire back through the condenser compartment. I'm gonna meet with this wire right here. And then put a little bit of, uh, let's see where I put it. A little bit of 
Put a little bit of liquid tape on there to keep everything nice and sealed up properly. And there's our connections all sealed up with the liquid tape. Tidy things up and we will be done mounting the Freestat. We'll wire it up on the other end where we will just break the Y1 signal. All right guys, I'm over here working with the package unit again. And I put up the Honeywell equivalent to the Comfort Net stats. And what I mean by that is something that looks like it, but it's not actually a Comfort Net stat. It's just the Honeywell basic version. Uh, not even a communicating style where it has the interface board. It's just a regular thermostat. Just matches the other ones and it'll uh, look good uh, because it'll be all matched up. But I'm doing a little odds and ends today. Today is golf tournament day. I'll be in the house for the most part, just doing a few things and probably take off a little early. What we're looking at now is a little cooktop area in the kitchen. And of course the V and HVAC is venting. So what I did was connect our downdraft range to the six inch range vent duct. Used a couple five inch elbows and a six inch end cap and sort of dovetailed them together and uh, taped it up so it'll be good to go. I'm going to replace the cap outside but it's not in yet. It's an aluminum sidewall. We are back at our original air handler and we're integrating a free switch with a two float switches here. And they all come back to the ComfortNet control. You see CAS, that's where you put your switches. So I'm just going to integrate my free switch in with the float switches at this control. And here's our little freeze thermostat. What we're going to do is we're going to fit it with the contour of the pipe. I've cut a little section out right here. We'll go ahead and fit it on there and insulate around it. And then we can just break one of the float switch wires right here and uh, wire it in. Here it is sitting on the pipe. Make sure you have a nice good contact so you can sense the temperature properly. We'll go ahead and wrap it up and uh, wire it up. All right guys, what I did was I just took this float switch wire, cut it down the center, took one of the halves and split it to tie in our free switch. So it'll just be in series with both of our float switches. All right guys, what I have now is my Honeywell outside air sensor. It has a little bracket it sits on. You can put it on the wall, like over here. What I'm gonna do is put it right here next to my unit, and it'll report the outdoor temperature wirelessly to the thermostat we just put up. So that way we can do our heat strip lockout as required by law. Whether you agree with it or not, I'm not saying nothing. But I'll go ahead and mount this up, then I'll be putting the heater in because they gave me an HKS heater by mistake and these package units still require the HKR heater. Once you take apart the module you'll see on the inside there's spots for batteries and you have a connect button once I have power up I'll hit the connect button to connect it to the Honeywell thermostat using their Redlink technology and if you add a little gateway uh, you can also communicate with your thermostat via the internet if you feel the need to, which I like. So, But I'm going to go ahead and put the batteries in and pop it on, and then on Tuesday we'll be starting it up and uh, putting power to it and connecting everything up. Well, our package unit drain is all done, and the float switch looks a little bit odd on the outside. I'll give you that. But uh, in the end, so many of these things I come to are flooded, have slime and gunk and all sorts of, sorts of disgusting stuff inside of them. And I'm hoping that this will prevent that from happening. I haven't siliconed the bridge at the top. You just so water won't stand inside that piece. Uh, so I hope it works out. I'll give it a test run and everything, see how it works. And uh, hopefully we're good to go. A little bit strange with the wire, but I kind of hung it up. Kind of nice. Or as nice as I could, I guess. But, alright. Well, I'm about done here for today. I'm going to head off to a service call, no heat. And I will catch you guys when we come back. Okay, guys, we're down in our crawl space area handler, the four ton split system and uh, the modular air handler. What I did is I, come in, I was coming back to attach my free switch, float switches to this system. I wanted a little bit of clarification on how they wanted to do it. I had a pretty good idea breaking the R signal which is 24 volt hot and what it is is breaking here in between the transformer and the outdoor unit so it will no longer function um, once one of the switches trip which is sort of how the uh, the Y1 
uh, signal cutting worked on a regular system anyway. So, But that is all finished and I'm about done for today because I have my no heat call and I want to do this before I left so I could get it out of the way. And I have, so now I am gone. Alright, we're back at the old package unit. We're all wired up. Electricians come and wired that up. They forgot to put a little hanger right there, but I'll do that if they don't. Put a little bit of sand down in there. A little caulk on both the lines. Try to fill it in, fill in a little bit where it's been kind of sunken down. Put a little caulk on there, the same color as the brick, or pretty close, so it doesn't, so it's not an eyesore. Here's our APH 15 36 running. It's actually been a few days. I had to come back to break down our old pad. So much fun. So there she is. Job completed. Inspection passed. Happy, happy.